Hello everybody, welcome to Deluxe Collectibles, and today we're going to be going over all of the brand new LEGO Ninjago Season 14 sets that were revealed in celebration of Ninjago's 10th anniversary, which is just absolutely crazy. I am very excited for this, and without further ado, let's get started by going over the first set. Alright, so to get started here, we're going to begin with set number 71745. This one is Lloyd's Jungle Bike and will include 183 pieces and is going to retail for $19.99 USD and then $24.99 Canadian. And this set here looks amazing. We're going to start with the box art here and it honestly looks fantastic. I think they did such a great job with the design here. I really love the look of Island Lloyd there on the top right corner. I think he looks really fantastic and I really love the red and like golden sort of color scheme going along the side of the box. I think that looks very nice as well. It's a very clean looking design and I like the backgrounds and the whole theming of this wave of, as well. How they're all on an island. I think that's really cool also. And then if we get into the set here of course we have sort of the main attraction Lloyd's bike here and I think that honestly it's a pretty good bike. I like how you can also kind of have Nia riding on the top of it as well. I think that's a pretty cool feature and how it can kind of launch that part of it off of there so she can kind of be on her own as well. I really love the addition of that and I like the color scheme of it as well of course going with your classic Lloyd colors there. I like the choice of the sand green though instead of like a different green and I like how that works with the gold as well. I think that looks very nice and then if we get into the minifigures here we have Lloyd included in the set as well. And of course, he looks absolutely fantastic. I think he has such a great design with this island outfit. I think that he just looks absolutely amazing. There's so much detail on this figure. It's just crazy. I know a ton of people have already had the opportunity to get this figure, and I've seen tons of photos of it, and it just looks phenomenal from every angle. So I really do love that. And the head mold as well, the hair mold with it, I think that looks fantastic. And then the Nia figure as well looks absolutely amazing amazing. I really do love the design of her. Of course, it was a little disappointing she wasn't getting another headband or a different color, but it seems like that might be remedied with her golden version as we've seen from the leaks, which I did cover in a separate video, but I really love the design of her here. I think her outfit looks super great and I love the color scheme of it. And then the other character that we have here is the Rumble Keeper, and I think that this character also looks fantastic. I'm a big fan of the villain designs for this wave, and I think this one just knocks it out of the park here. I love the shield piece as well. I think that has some really great printing on it and just super detailed printing for all of the minifigures. I think it just turned out phenomenal and it makes for a really great small set. Now we're going to move on to the next one here, and this is set number 71746, the Jungle Dragon. This one's going to include 506 pieces and will retail for $39.99 USD and then $49.99 Canadian, and this set looks fantastic. Fantastic. Just looking at the box art here, I love the amount of action going on. I think that looks really amazing. And let's just move to the main attraction here, the dragon in this set. I think it looks honestly amazing. I really love the unique look of it. I know with initial pictures, a lot of people were commenting on how it looks kind of goofy and a little bit off. And I honestly really like the look of that. I think it does a good job of differentiating itself from the other dragons in the Ninjago series because, of course, dragon builds are kind of a mainstay for the theme so you see them every wave or so and I think it's good that they're changing up the formula of them because it gives us unique designs like this. I really love the color scheme as well. The teal and the gold look absolutely phenomenal together. I never thought they could pair together so well but it really does a great job here and just ah yeah the dragon's face just looks so perfect. I love the tongue sticking out there. I think that looks really great just giving it a really crazy design and then Zane gets a similar sort of vehicle as to Nia in the previous set except his is just completely individual on its own. It's like a mini little flying ship of some sort and I think that looks really great. I like the colors of that with the highlights of the blue on the white. I think that looks really great. 
Then if we move to the minifigures here, of course we have Lloyd included in this set once again. I think that he looks really fantastic as I had said previously. Some really great design choices there. And then we have Zane included in the set who I think also looks fantastic of, of course. I love that he's rocking his titanium hairpiece. There is new one. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. I really love the look of the ninjas with the half masks here. I think those look really great. And just once again, the detailed printing. It looks so great and yet it still does a good job of looking uniform with all of the other ninjas designs from this season so I really do love that as well while still looking unique also and I just think that's fantastic and then the next figure that we have is the Thunder Keeper of course one of the villains here and those masks that they are wearing just look amazing the amount of detail on those and the molds just look fantastic and the torso and the leg printing as well look phenomenal also and then the other character Character Polaric right here looks amazingly goofy here similar to the dragon just a really cool and unique design I love the idea of having two heads on there and having two sort of personalities there it kind of reminds me of like a bad cop situation except both heads can be talking at the same time I assume so I think that's really cool as well it's definitely a very unique choice there and I definitely welcome that as well I think that's why Ninjago is able to stay so innovative with its theme is because it chooses to make the these really unique designs and everything which I can definitely really appreciate so I'd say overall the jungle dragon is an amazing set. Next up here we have set number 71747. This one is the Guardian Village and is going to include 632 pieces and will retail for $49.99 USD and then it should retail for $59.99 Canadian and this set looks amazing as well. I cannot say it enough. Honestly, this wave has got to be one of my favorite Ninjago waves and we're not even through all of it yet and it just looks phenomenal thus far. I really love the look of this set and I like the story that it tells as well. I did make a separate video on this of the potential of Jay being captured in this season and it seems like that's what is kind of happening here. It seems like they might be siphoning his lightning power from him so I'm not sure that could be a potential plot point but that's not what we're here to talk about but the set design here just looks fantastic. I love the like tiki statue that they have with the three heads. I think all three of those just look phenomenal and have some really unique sort of like I assume those will wind up being stickers but they look great nonetheless really cool expressions on there and then of course you have like the key sort of item that they're all trying to go after as well which looks really great the amulet I think that looks awesome with the dragon molded onto it I think that looks really great and just the build looks fantastic I've seen people comparing it to the journey to the skull dungeon set and I would definitely agree it definitely has a similar sort of structure to it but I just feel like this one's a bit more fleshed out hence the higher price point here here, and I think that that looks really great on the side the mouth that's open I think that looks really cool it just looks very mystical as well and mysterious also which I really love I like the throne also the sort of like almost like bone sort of throne at the top there for chief Mammatus. who let's talk about his figure because he looks phenomenal. I think this has got to be one of the best villain designs that Ninjago has done. I absolutely love the headdress piece there. I think that that looks really great. The color scheme of it looks really good, kind of matching up with the jungle dragon as well. So I'd be curious if there's a connection there, if they're just both from this jungle sort of island. And I think it just looks amazing. Such a phenomenal design, great printing, and I just really love it overall. Then the next minifigure that we have here is the Thunder Keeper and I think that this one once again just looks phenomenal. Some really great printing there and he just looks fantastic. Very nicely detailed. Then going off of the ninja here, the first one that we have here is Cole and I think that he just looks fantastic. I really do love the use of his movie hair piece there but then with the recolor of the headband pieces there in the new orange coloring there, I think that looks really great. Matching very well with his outfit which man, what a sleek looking outfit for Cole. I really do love it. I cannot get over these outfits. I honestly just want them right now because they look absolutely amazing. Such great designs here. Then the next one that we have is Kai right here and I think that once again just such a clean aesthetic for this outfit here and of course Kai's hairband and head combo there look really amazing. Of course I know we previously received that now in the newest legacy wave that we got but it's still nice that we're seeing it here of course which was 
was what that legacy set was kind of preparing us for, for this to be featured in these sets. And I really do love the look of that. The dark red with the bright red as well look really great together. So I just love the combinations there. It provides for a very nicely detailed figure. And then the last of the ninja that we have here included in this set is Jay right here. And I like Jay's hairpiece quite a bit. I really do like how they were able to integrate the headband in there. I was kind of worried about how they were going to do that because of course Jay has quite a bit of hair but I don't feel like he has as much as like Kai or Cole does so I like the way they integrated it there I think it works very well and his outfit looks great also just such fantastic designs I know it probably sounds very repetitive but I mean just look at it you can see it here it looks amazing I'm sure you're probably thinking the same thing as me they just look fantastic so I love the look of this set I think that it's a really fantastic one definitely one of my favorites and it just has an overall amazing design. Alright, now we're going to go over the largest set for this new wave here, and this one is set number 71748, the Catamaran Duel. This one's going to include 780 pieces and is going to retail for $69.99 USD, and then it should retail for $79.99 Canadian, and this set looks really great. Now, honestly though, if you're looking at it minifigure-wise, it's probably the least necessary because if you get the previous three sets, then you're going to obtain all of the minifigures to complete this wave. So minifigure wise, I don't think that's what we're really going after here, but I think the builds managed to make me want to just kind of like double dip here, even with the minifigures. I know the builds are obviously completely different, but I think they look so fantastic. I really do like the designs of these catamarans. I think it's a really cool and unique idea here for Ninjago. I love the sail pieces as well on both of them. I think both of those just look really great. Very nice amount of detail there. Going over the villains one first, because of course it's it's the larger one here. I think that it looks really fantastic. I love the design of it. And once again, continuing that kind of storyline of Jay being captured here, he is the one on the box art being taken. So seems like that once again might be hinting to a storyline there, but I have gone over that before, as I said. But yeah, I think it just looks really great. Great color scheme as well. I like the working in of the teal there with then the more muted colors of the browns and the tans. I think that looks really great together. So just a fantastic fantastic design with that one. Then the other Catamaran Kai's here just looks phenomenal as well. Of course, we get a ton of Kai vehicles, so it makes sense that we would get one in this wave, but I think this one looks very good and does a good job of being unique as well, so I do like that and can definitely appreciate it. I really love the look of it. It just kind of pops off of the photo here, and I like that quite a bit. And then just browsing over the minifigures quickly, of course, we have the three ninja included here, Kai, Jay, and Zane and I think all three of them look really amazing once again great designs there and they just look very uniform altogether as well and then we get the villains also the rumble keeper we get the thunder keeper and then we also get chief mammatus as well who I think looks really great they all just look so good together they really did a great job of making the villains look really great together and then making the ninja look really great together in this season so just very very well done designs I really do love the look of all of these and this set just overall is fantastic. Now the final set that we're going to be covering here is one that you probably didn't expect me to include because it's not technically a completely brand new reveal, but I wanted this to be a comprehensive video of all of the season 14 sets, so I wanted to include this, and it is set number 30539, the Lloyd's Quad Bike right here, the poly bag for the wave, and I think that honestly this is a really great poly bag. I love that you get that Jungle Lloyd here in this set. I think that that's really great that you have an easy and cheap way to obtain the figure here and I honestly think that the quad bike looks really good I like the color scheme of it once again going with that sand green and the gold and I just think it has a really nice compact sort of design so I love how that looks and Lloyd looks amazing as well once again it's just a really nice little poly bag here and I wanted to include it in this video Alright, so that's going to conclude this video here for all of the brand new LEGO Ninjago Season 14 sets that were revealed. Of course, this is going to be a phenomenal wave releasing in March. I am very excited for this. It's got to be one of my favorite Ninjago waves that I've ever seen, and it's a quite small Ninjago wave, and that's very impressive that they were able to pack in so much here, and I kind of prefer it when it's a smaller wave because I feel like it makes it easier to get all of the minifigures as easily as possible. You would only have to buy 
buy three of these sets, and I think that's a really nice thing for LEGO to kind of do for fans who might not be able to always purchase the gigantic waves, like stuff like Master of the Mountain and things like that, where you're just getting really large Ninjago waves, but for this, I feel like it's a very condensed wave, and they just packed in a ton of detail in the minifigures, a ton of detail into the builds. It's just a really well done wave, and definitely, it just really honors this 10th anniversary of Ninjago, and I expect that we'll probably see the same with the Season 15 wave as well when that's revealed, so I'm just very excited. It's a great time to be a Ninjago fan. There's so many cool things being revealed and so many cool things happening in the community, so if you want to stay up to date with all of that, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate the support, and also be sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy, and let me know down below in the comment section what sets do you plan on getting on from this wave, like what are your thoughts on them, what are your rankings of them as well, what's your favorite, what's your least favorite, let me know all of that down below, I really appreciate it, so thank you so much, I will see you all next time, and always remember, keep on collecting!